abdominal wall as you can see various organs this is the spleen and you can see the two kidneys and the two major vessels i'm going to demonstrate you about the peritoneum peritoneum which is a serous membrane made up of mesothelium and the fibrous connective tissue and you can see that it is being clung to your posterior abdominal wall right and the organs now we are looking into are retroperitoneal means posterior to the peritoneum so the peritoneum that is along the abdominal walls called as parietal peritoneum let me complain complete it it is just like a pouch or bag this is anteriorly lying and let me open it this is posterior line this is parietal peritoneum and again this is parietal peritoneum and uh, if i complete it with the abdominal wall just wall you can see that it lines the interior of the abdominal cavity now see that it is present just inferior to the diaphragm and it also covers the pelvis right now i will show you the location or reflection of peritoneum so first of all i have made a mesentery proper this mesentery proper that would be definitely holding or attaching to the coils of small intestine so this is the upper free border right and this is the root of mesentery almost 6 to 7 inches long starting from the duodeno duodenal flexure and reaching on the right side up to the sacroiliac joint so we have to learn that which organs it is crossing so let's see if i put the organs back like this now you can see that this is the duodenum right so duodeno duodenal flexure if small intestine are there so it is crossing the duodenum now let me repeat what else comes in its way it has to cross your abdominal aorta now it's crossing the inferior vena cava and the you can see the right ureter and the sauce right sauce so thanks let me repeat will come are the the part of the duodenum which i have removed then comes the abdominal aorta then comes the inferior vena cava the right ureter and the right sauce right this is just 6 inches and is being attached and uh, now you can see its free border which i have demonstrated that it will be holding the coils of small intestine right this is just like a tiny fan okay i'm showing you the peritoneum as i have told you that the peritoneum adjacent to the abdominal wall and the anterior abdominal wall are parietal peritoneum so according to the embryological origin the foregut organ let me show you the liver it comes how and the stomach it takes this peritoneum invaginates it and what is going to happen that now peritoneum covering the viscera is called as visceral peritoneum so let me put the other organ in it so that to show you various other reflections actually peritoneum is what it is that serous membrane that at some places form ligaments and at some places form omentum bursa like lesser and greater omentum and at some places form mesentery like meso colon meso appendix meso gastrium and uh, the mesentery proper so now let's see let me put the organs here in this uh, model bag as you can see this is the pancreas transverse running these are the parts of duodenum and you can see the large intestine the ascending let me put the transverse colon here uh, let me put first the small intestine coils of it and then i have to hang it 
towards the uh, like this yeah now this is the proper position right now I have to show you that how lesser and greater momentum will form the lesser and greater sag so see this is the lever and let me hold the stomach in my hand now the peritoneum over it are the visceral peritoneum so I am going to put the lever on its position and the stomach as well so see can you see that peritoneum the visceral peritoneum has covered both organs so let's see where lies the lesser momentum so let me hold it in my hand sorry now let me correct the position now this this part of the visceral peritoneum can you see in between the stomach and the liver through its lesser curvature and up to the liver this is called as the lesser momentum and if I put my hand posterior to it this area where my thumb is and my fingers are just below it this is the region which is the location of epiploid foramen right and I am putting them inside the model right now you can see that this is the lesser sac right behind it behind the lesser momentum and my finger is on its back now you can see that there is still the reflection of visceral peritoneum how it is gonna be attached it will be folding and the first layer from the greater curvature will be running down and reflecting upwards to be attached on the transverse colon right and the second layer from the greater curvature will also turn upwards to form the third layer and in this way this greater momentum is formed right and uh, if I can put my finger just from the epiploid for a man I am now into the lesser sac and this lesser sac is behind the stomach and will communicate posteriorly into a little bit portion of that to reflection of the greater momentum right and the whole interior this portion is greater sac means let me tell you again that this whole cavity anterior to it is the greater sac and uh, this is communicating with the lesser sac through epiploid foramen right it means that if we put the complete this model you can see the peritoneum which is present adjacent to interior of the this abdominal wall will be parietal peritoneum and the peritoneum over the organs are visceral peritoneum so the peritoneum visceral peritoneum in between the two is the lesser momentum and from the greater curvature it is the greater momentum right and if I put my finger again let me repeat is the way of communication between the lesser sac behind the stomach and the whole anterior line cavity which is called as greater sac right and uh, you can see that the coils of uh, large intestine on the adjacent side if I can show you are retroperitoneal organs right retroperitoneal means they are behind the peritoneum right so this is the concept that the parietal peritoneum is like along the abdominal walls visceral peritoneum is over the various viscera's it could be in the form of various ligaments like this uh, edge of the lesser momentum that becomes thickening to form various ligaments and you can name it also as the hepatogastric ligament right so and uh, let me show you the other things that this is the coil of intestine why the parietal and the visceral peritoneum are lined definitely to cover it definitely to give lubrication so that the organs may slide easily so a potential space creates in between this uh, 
visceral enterital layer, right? And if I can remove, I can show you the ascending colon and uh, the transverse colon was there, right? And this is the descending colon, right? So this is how the location of the peritoneum is there. Thank you.